stoicism is control control your mind. Mm-hmm. Um, you can you're the gatekeeper of your yep. own thoughts. All of that yep. good stuff, right? I, I've really I started going back to that. I would say that you know, growing up, that wasn't something you know talked about in the household or really. I mean, I come from a more middle class family. I grew up with just my mom. Um, only kid, you know, she worked and it was just kind of regular life. You know, we weren't there, we weren't into like yoga or meditation or anything right. like that growing up, but it's something that I got into, um, probably in my late twenties, early thirties and really kind of went down that rabbit hole into meditation. I'd always felt very uncomfortable, like thinking of meditation or yoga, um, just because I didn't feel like it was something I would be good at or be able to do. I felt like uncomfortable in my body doing that, I think. But yeah. um, when I got involved with yoga and meditation, it like completely changed my life. Okay. I, so I had a big life change like an once I started. Yes. I had never been in control of my thoughts. Okay. Like they just ran wild. My creative thought. I mean, that's something so where monkey I couldn't brain turn just... all the time. Yeah. I mean, squirrel <laughs> all, yeah. the ta- all the time. Um, and that's something that probably led to part of my career. I mean, I'm just kind of all over the place. I'll say I'm like a ping pong ball that's like bouncing everywhere. Um, but I really tapped into an inner calm that I had never had before. Um, and I did like a huge cleanse in my body that I'd never done before, you know, and really got into my health and the food that I was eating and what I was reading, you know, then I went into that whole thing as like, you are everything that you're intaking is who you are. I I mean, I really got into, it started though with the calmness of the mind and yoga and just slowing down that whole, like pushing your body really hard and then having the calm moment is when I really tapped into that. And then I got really into the food I was eating. I had never, you know, that wasn't something that I learned as a young child, you know, how we ate. I mean, it was just normal to eat fast food and, sure. you know, cook a quick meal. And it's just the way life was. I mean, no one was really thinking of that. I mean, I was born in the 80s, 83. So during that time, I mean, it was like no one was really thinking. So young. Crazy. So young. Yeah. I just turned 39. <clears throat> Get to be my <laughs> age and you're. Yeah, I'll be I'll be full white. Like Santa by next Christmas, probably. It's going to be red. But it's good for a guy getting the gray. I have so many grays. I got my hair done yesterday, so you wouldn't see them. Because I I think I would be full gray if I let it go. Let it do. Just do it, man. All natural. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready. Just do it. Just let it it roll. I got no way around it. Mm -hmm. People are like, are you going to like color that? And I'm like, no. No. Just let it go. Have you ever met me? Do you think that I would color? I can you can I can barely get made to take a shower. I'm not going to color my hair, man. What are you talking about? You could do like that spray stuff. No, yeah, or the uh the Ron Papil. Remember that guy? Those, just for men. Yeah, those infomercials. He had like the yep. It was spray of spray paint. He had spray yep. paint hair, too. They make it now for for us ladies that get roots. It's like a powder. Awesome. It's not. So rad. It's not rad. I've used it. And doesn't the, work. While you're doing it in the mirror, you just feel shame. Oh, yes. <laughs> like, I'm powdering my face. I understand. <laughs> yeah. I feel a lot of that when I cut nose hairs. Yeah. I'm like, this is just too much. I have a lot That's of funny. white hair. Yeah. You do? I That's do. why you always wear a hat? Well, also the hairline issues. But... Oh, the hairline. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. No, but it, it's fine. I have vitiligo. Get yeah. a I oh, the, the that's right. Stuff, so I forgot about yeah. my that. beard is like half white now, cool. which I dig. Yeah, get a skull tattoo that's like cool. Tommy Vex. Yo, will Just, you give it to me? Yeah, no, I will not. I'm not. I'm not starting my tattoo career on your skull, bro. <laughs> not yet. It's not happening. <laughs> no, tattoos are awesome, but I'm not starting. No, I'm gonna. The next tattoo I do is gonna be on myself. I think that's. Are you sure? Wow. Yeah. Okay, do that and then do us or do me. Okay. Yeah. That sounded weird, but all right. Uh 